Okay, so um, today we're going to make a grommet. And first thing you need to do is um, unravel the rope. This is about a metre and a half in length. And just keep doing this carefully all the length. What you need to try and keep is this wobbly pattern. Um, if you start to um, undo it like that, it'll lose its shape and it'll make it harder to um, make the grommet later on. Okay, so now you've got your length of uh, unraveled rope. I suggest you'd make a third of it, and less than a third. That's your third segment. So that's roughly a third there. I would suggest you made it smaller to make it easier. And that means you've also got a little bit left to play with at the end. Now, it's got to come in from the inside. Like that. And now what you need to do is slowly Slowly match it up. So it's not going to look quite right because there's a third strand that's going to need to be there. But what you'll do is keep twisting it, make sure this doesn't unravel, and follow each lump, each twist in the cord it needs to be married up. Same. Okay, keep doing this until this has gotten all the way around. Okay, so now you got back around to here. What you need to do now very carefully get to the right point where you want to stop if you look at it if you look at it um, this twist needs to start going back this way now so that was the one that was going anti-clockwise and this one's now going to go clockwise and you just need to have a look at it make sure it all looks right that's your segment there, it's got three on. That's got two, and that's got two strands. And it should look right as you go round. Like that. Okay, so now you've got to the end, and what you can do now is splice these. I usually cheat and uh, tie them together, then do a bit of whipping over the top. Different colours usually, um, so if you want to play something like quoits, um, different colours could be like a different team, different players. So what I'll do now is you can unravel these. Now these, this has got six strands. I'm oh, sorry, it's got five strands. Like I said, there's plenty of ways of doing this. But what I like to do is relay it and do a knot just a simple overhand, overhand knot so it's 
just got you a rough shape there, not too uh, bulky. Okay, so that's a very rough splice there, but like I say, I'd normally cheat and I'd put whipping over the top to hide it all. If you want to see any of, um, of how to do any whipping, if you look at my other videos, there's some in there about whipping.